When you start a game of cricket and you're bowling, you've got to find out about the ball. And what I mean by that is you find out what the ball is doing. Now I had a great experience when I was playing with Malcolm Marshall, the great West Indian fast bowler. And he was opening the bowling and he said, I want to find out what this ball is doing. So he held it for an in-swinger. He held it for an away swinger. He turned it round, tried to see what was happening with it there, see where he was getting the movement, and understanding what that ball is that you've been given. Because you take it out of the box, you've no idea what it's doing, and you might think that a certain side is the side that you've always held so that you can swing a new ball away. Meantime, that's the wrong side to do it. You have to turn it round, so that when you've got the ball like that, you hold it for the away swinger like that, Turn it round, hold it for the in-swinger like that, have a look and see what it's doing. Turn the ball over like this, so that the shiny side is, the, uh, or you think the dull side's there for the away swinger. Maybe that ball, for whatever reason, it is, uh, it is a handmade ball, and because that is the case, you can never tell where the weights are in it. If it's slightly weighted differently, you must go into the game, and particularly your opening bowlers, understand it so that they can then pass that information on to the, the other bowlers in the side and they know which side of the ball they're going to work on because that's going to give them the maximum movement in that innings. And when you're doing that, you're creating the best out of that uh, out of your bowling. To recap on, on it, if you think that that is the shiny side when you bowl the first ball and you want to bowl an away swinger, hold it for an away swinger with a shiny side there. Next ball, Turn it round, hold it for an away swinger, and let's see what happens if that's now the shiny side as to what's going on. Exactly the same for an in-swinger. Turn it round like that, so the seam's pointing in towards uh, leg stump for the right-hand batsman. And if that's the shiny side, bowl it and see what's happening. Turn it round next ball, see what's happening. It's amazing, suddenly you find what you thought was the case with the ball is totally different. But now you've found out what that ball can do and it's, you're getting maximum movement. Because if you're going to get a batsman out or get a team out, you have to get maximum movement off that pitch or in the air to do that job. Just try that, see how it goes. But then, from the, right from the start of the game, you're very well aware of what that ball is like.